Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. A little bit early. We'll wait a bit to see if anybody else is coming on. Uh, it's about one minute to one on our clock. So hopefully we'll see a few guys out, uh, out to see us today, guys and gals. I'm a bunny. <laughs> Sophia is a bunny. Miss I'm Sophia bunny. Rainbows. So again, hi, I'm Christina from Sam I and Art. And this is my assistant, Miss Sophia Rainbows, who is currently dressed up as a bunny, which is actually very good because we are going to be doing cartoon rabbits today. We're going to do things just a little bit differently today. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do the rabbit, and then we're going to use imagination together to create a bigger picture. And you can do anything you want to do on your picture, and you can do anything you want. Sophia's going to do whatever she wants to do on her picture, and then we'll come back to my screen. You guys can influence what I'm doing. So we'll try that for today. So here we go. I'm going to show you, start off today showing you the pictures that we got. We didn't get as many pictures last week, although I know a lot of you were really excited to do Minecraft. Sorry for the little bump click there. So we only got one picture that, uh, that was sent in last week of the Minecraft, and these guys did a great job. We had an, even an attempt to do a 3D chicken. So we did, last week, if you remember, we did Minecraft wolves, Minecraft chickens, and then I taught you how to do puppies and chickens um, on your own. We learned how to do a cube and how to do a square. Here's Sophia's uh, Cheeky Luck. That's her little puppy who is green. This is the chicken that Sophia drew. She did amazing tail feathers on her chicken. And this is her Minecraft chicken. So those are the ones we had in and then of course mine which I forgot to bring up <laughs> which were kind of silly ridiculous weren't they I did put them in the uh, in the uh, big folder there so those are what we had last week and you guys did a great job and I hope that you if you did do some of your own and didn't want to send them in that's quite all right you don't have to um, but if you're having trouble I have put a post up on my Facebook page to help explain to your parents and your guardians how best to go about making things so so this is the first little guy we're going to start with and i'm going to start show you how to draw two different types of cartoon bunnies this guy's a little more complicated and we can show it next week and we can show it next week so sophia's wearing i don't know if you can see her in her camera she's going to show you She's wearing bunny ears in honor of drawing the rabbit today. <laughs> and I'm, wear, I'm finally getting to wear my fedora and I'm wearing it backwards. So there's happiness all around. There's my special Alright, so for everybody joining, we're going to start with, um, with the rabbit. This little rabbit. He's a fairly easy guy to do. And it's a lot of round circles um, and uh, teardrop shapes for eyes. So this one is just going to be a little easier to do. And then this guy, I went a little bit all out. I, I went crazy with this guy. And I'll teach you how to do this one too. This is the first guy we're going to start out with. I made him super big so you can all see what he looks like or she looks like. I'm going to go both. And Sophia's going to call it fluffy. Um, but yeah, we're doing bunnies because, well, they represent spring and Easter. So I'm going to start off with this bunny. And i got to remind myself, what am I doing first? And this bunny, if you did uh, our project last week, it's going to seem a little familiar. I'm going to start with two circles. Can't really see because there's not... Uh, you can only see what they're saying, you know, because we don't have the two open like they usually do. Because you just can't see. Sophia wants to start. She, she says, you can't see my screen. There we go. You can see my screen now. She's Because we're working like an L shape. She's behind me, so she's like, wants to see the screen. So you draw your two circles. 
Then I'm guessing blue. Oh. Well, Sophia has a, a guess. Oh, crud. I broke the eraser on this pencil. That's why Like, I broke the eraser on my other pencil at school. Well, you've got a big eraser over there. So, what we're going to do with this is what Sophia's probably guessed and what you probably have guessed too is we're going to erase where gonna... the two circles have overlapped. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just going to use the actual pencil now. Okay. So once you have the two circles built like this, we're going to build another circle right here for the hind oh, leg. Oh, I erased a little more than you did. That's okay. We'll get that. Well, you will. You are getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> so I'm going to draw a little tiny one. A tinier circle, but it's sort of right overlapping the back of the rabbit. Just, you don't want to get it too, too far out because it's just the back leg. It's where he's sitting. And you erase where they've overlapped. I'm going to shrink my cake. And two little C circles there. One that just overlaps the circle, and you can erase where it overlaps, so you can show that that foot is in the front. And a third one, which overlaps pretty much everything. And you can erase it like that. This is going to look a little different than the one I started out with. I'm going a little fast so he doesn't get, I don't get quite as precise as I normally do. That's okay. My ears are falling off. <laughs> Sophia's having technical difficulties with her ears. Okay. Like, like, I don't know if the guys can see, but... Her ears are flopping forward <laughs> into her face. It's, <laughs> it's impacting her ability to draw. I'll be fine. I'll be fine? Okay. So, next I do another couple C shapes. So we want nice round cheeks. Aw. For your bunny. I think I've already kind of done that on one side. But I'm going to do it again. This is and you can sort of connect the head a little differently there. My bunny looks like he's really crouching into himself. My bunny looks adorable. To say that. Well, I'm glad your bunny is looking adorable. And then right in the middle of all of that, you're putting a little triangle. You can do a pizza slice like we did for other noses in the past. A little pizza slice triangle. I fill it in because I'm probably going to make it a black nose. And then I like my happy bunny. And bunnies have a little line connecting the bottom of their nose. Oh. To their mouth so it sort of has almost like a little pronounced slit which you can see fluffy's gonna be so cute fluffy's gonna be cute do you have any rabbit facts that you want to share with everybody sure a baby rabbit is called a kit a female is called a doe and a male is called a buck a rabbit's best feature their long ears growing up to 10 centimeters in their in length the rabbit Rabbits can turn their ears by 180 degrees, keeping a careful listen out for predators. Their eyes are on either side of their head, also built to look out for predators. Like cats, rabbits purr when they're content and relaxed. Rabbits purr? Yeah. I didn't know that. We well, mean there, but I found it. Well, we found it out on National Geographic Kids. That's one yeah. of the sites we like to go to to research some of our information about animal facts. There are over 30, 300 different species of rabbit in the world. Most of them live in North America, over 50%, and in Europe. So more than half of them live in North America. Oh, that's pretty crazy. More than half of all rabbit species live in North America. So what I've just done here is I've added two little teardrops so that the pointy part of the teardrop goes towards the nose for those rabbit eyes that are on their, either side of their face. Well, now, it looks a lot like a cat now. Well, like, considering they meow or purr rather like a kitten, cat and their babies are called kittens or kits. And then I add, depending on which way I want my rabbit to look, I'm going to have this one looking up. I put two semicircles in those teardrops. And you can color those eyes any color you want, or you can fill them all the way in. I'm going to make them green. So you can color them in. I fill them in. I'm going to fill them in black right now. I might change my mind later. 
You guys can help me change my mind later when we make this an, a b bigger picture, like an Easter card or a spring scene. For the ears, we're going to draw. You can make them as long or as short as you want. Kind of like that teardrop shape, a little pointy at the top, but round curved sides going down to touch the head. And you do two of those. I made one ear a little bit bigger than the other. That's okay. Maybe it's, maybe it's just angle, because sometimes when a rabbit has, like, their, when their, like their head is tilted a bit, Sometimes one of their ears is actually a bit longer. Sometimes it can be tilted a little differently and look a little longer. You're absolutely right, Sophia. And what I like to do, so that you can see one of those ears is more on the front of the head of the rabbit, I take and erase the line of that circle where that ear met, so it looks like it's in the foreground. It's one way you can give your, your picture a little bit more dimension, so it looks like it's sitting in dimension. So uh, this guy's almost done. I'm going to extend his nose a little bit rounder, make him cute. And interior, I forgot the interior of the ear. I'm only going to show one because this other one in the back, which I'm now going to make smaller because I think I like it a little smaller. I like to have it just a little smaller. And because I want that ear facing the other way, he's keeping an ear out for predators behind him. He's so cute. Who would want to hurt this little bunny? Um, I am have the ear turned away, so you don't see the inter interior of the ear. Now, you can just make a decision on your bunny of what kind of tail you want to have it. Do you want to have a fluffy cloud tail? Do you want to have um, a little cotton tail? I like doing this kind of tail, like this. It looks like a little bit of a fire on the back of his butt. It's not a fire. It's just to say that it's very fluffy. There's a lot of fluff. And I do an extra little line just to show where this dark part of his body is going to be and the back part of his body is going to be. You could also do a tail. This is the back of your bunny. A bit like a cloud like this. So however you want your bunny tail to look, fluffy or furry, you get to choose. This is your bunny. I'm making his tail so it'll look like an actual cloud. Now, here's another decision that you guys get to make about your bunny. Sophia, you, did you do a cloud? Yeah, I you did. did. Very nice. Them. I like that. So you can see we both did two different tails. Now, here's another decision you can make. Do you want your bunny to have long whiskers? Because they do have whiskers. You can just add whiskers like my, that. Mine, if my cat, if my my rabbit looks has long whiskers it's a little too much like a cat yeah she's worried it's gonna look too much like a cat if she puts long whiskers you can also show whiskers by just doing dots so it looks like you got freckles instead of whiskers it's your bunny you get to choose that part of your bunny and now the last step of making this particular rabbit this little sitting rabbit who's really cute and cuddled up is we just add a few toes on to the paws. And now, because it's your bunny or your rabbit, you can do things like adding hair if you want the bunny to have hair. Um, if you want the bunny to have a flower on their ear, you could do that too. We've got the hair sort of over like a kind of my style. Sometimes I have this curve. Oh, I see. Kind of overlapping my she's eye. Got, she's got bangs sort of like that on her bunny. Yeah. And then I'm going to color them black. So you can start adding some personality to your bunny. I think there's one part I forgot to do. Yep, yep, yep. I did. And this bunny, I forgot. What we do is you just sort of do a little bit of an erase there on the hind leg. So you can see that it, you can leave it actually open. But that just shows that it's attached to the bunny body. So there is a really basic bunny that's sitting down. And look, I'm just doing it. Pardon me, I'm switching my chair so I'm making a terrible squeaky noise. Maybe I need to get my chair fixed. So that is bunny number one.
might try bunny number two, but I think I'm going to finish coloring Fluffy. Now you can add bunny number two to this one, or you can get a new sheet. Yeah, I Or, do. well, you can sort of decide. Hey, Sarah saw two bunnies on her run this morning. That's pretty cool. That, they are definitely a sign of spring, aren't they? And they're kind of a sign of spring all around the world because um, of just how many bunnies you can see around this time of the year. One of the uh, celebrations that we were talking about earlier that's happening is Easter, of course. We're having Easter this weekend. But Passover is also happening, and it starts tonight, I believe, is the first night of Passover. And that's sort of a Jewish celebration um, commemorating uh, the Hebrew people leaving uh, Egypt, leaving slavery. So they start on tonight and uh, and next Thursday. So it's a week long celebration. And uh, we've had friends who are celebrating. I'm going to probably say this wrong. Holy, Holi, or there's bright just sort of from India and uh, Hindu celebration where there's bright powdered uh, colors. Um, that are spread around, really bright and vibrant, sort of colors that you think of in spring. And uh, it's sort of a celebration of good over evil. So being stuck inside with winter all the time, and then you get to go out and have fun and sort of celebrate with the sun. So that's kind of cool. So if you think of Easter traditions too, we have lots of bright colors and whatnot. So that's very similar. We're pretty excited about that. What do you think about when you think of spring? I'm going to start the new bunny here. So here we go. You start with a circle. My circle is not very round. <laughs> I'm going to fix my circle. Circle. If, it, if you need me to zoom in, let me know too in the comments. I am actually learned how to scroll through the comments properly last week, as we learned. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go just a little bit further in. So I've started with a circle. Really messy circle, but that's okay. That's the part I need to back out. And you draw sort of like a pear shape. Oops. Sort of like a pear shape. Down. And on the body. I'm just coloring my dude. Yeah, you can go ahead and color. If you've decided that you don't really want to try and tackle this guy, you don't have to. If you want to try later, so, though, you can always rewatch the video. Yeah, you can always rewatch the video if you want to try this later. Or I'll have the video, the sheets, the step-by-step -step sheets up as well, which you can download. I might, I might try it later, too. So, like our other guy, um, I may have gone overboard on how big this guy's belly is, but that's okay. This is the body and this is the head. And if you can do these two shapes, I'm going to make my head just a little bit bigger again. These two shapes are the basis for a lot of different cartoon characters. You make the body a little bit different size if you want a skinnier or a shorter or a different size character. You can make the body longer. You can make it wider you can sort of change it around but these are pretty good bases because then you can just draw legs and arms on this guy it doesn't have a neck but you can change that but today we're just doing a bunny it's kind of rolling around so our next step is to draw two long ovals which will be its feet there's his feet and you get to erase everything that is in that oval that you've overlapped. And this bunny, it's got my bunny's got such a big tummy. I don't know if you can see, but it's gonna be holding his paws down on his belly. Really, really patting his belly. And it's just gonna be two curved almost circles on his belly. And I'm going to erase where that overlaps. I'm going to try it now. You're going to try it now? Okay. So if he's going to catch up. He's going to catch up. 
And then I do a little circle on the back there to show where this arm is sort of connecting. And I erase that. So now we have the basis of this roly poly bunny. Oh, I forgot one thing that we're going to add to this cool roly poly belly. Bunny. The bunny. I'm just going to add his back leg there so you can see a little bit right there on the side, sort of his haunch. One of the spring things that uh, that remind are things that remind Sarah and Michael of spring are robins. That's a pretty good one. Flowers. Flowers. That's a good I'm one. Too late. Yes. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I can. I'm going to move my bunny down because I'm on a computer program. I can do that. I just realized my bunny is not going to have any ears. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to change my bunny up a little bit. Because there's nothing wrong with that. Let's do the face then before I do that. Just like we did last week, we're going to put a little circle or a oval, I should say, on the inside of this guy's face. And put his nose in. And his smile. Oh my guys, the like nose that. is going to be a tiny little circle thing connecting to the top. And I put teeth on my bunny. And now, to make him super cheeky, I add the little, I sometimes extend those cheeks out with a, a, a C circle. So you can make them super cheeky and just erase as you go. I like that my bunny. Still be. I like him. You want him super one. cheeky, I put che super cheeky. I picked with this guy, I'm going to make his whiskers, dots, and hmm, let me see what my picture says. My picture that I drew before, I drew circle eyes this time. Circle eyes. Circles within circles, or ovals within ovals. And he's really looking up, maybe he's going to be looking up at a robin. I don't know. Since we've suggested robin. <laughs> Bamboo. Bamboo as in bamboo's Sophia's friend bamboo, or bamboo as in uh, the plant, because that is kind of springy too. Oh, Jack, I remember you requested, you want to ask me if bamboo would be in this one. Oh yeah, bamboo is not in this one. Bamboo is downstairs, hoping Sophia will play Minecraft at some point in time. I could get her. Are you going to keep drawing? I will. Or maybe you can ask really nicely if one of our viewers, who is also in this house, can go get her. So what we're going to do for the ears. You can draw the ears exactly like you did for the other bunny, which is sticking right up in the air. I'm going to do his ears. I want to draw a lop, which is a type of bunny whose ears are always looking like they're down. So I do that just like I did the same shape. And now here's a 3D perspective lesson. Why you tell on that? I can go quickly grab her. That uh, <laughs> will help with drawing. Because this ear is behind the whole bunny head, I'm going to draw it a little bit so it's not seen as much behind. So it's lops. Lot Bunny is sort of going down behind him. Lot Bunny. Hey, Cherry blossom trees. Those are so pretty in the hey, spring. Oh, did Bamboo? Oh, Bamboo was not downstairs. Bamboo was just... She was downstairs. Oh, she's just hanging out. Yeah. Nope. Bamboo has come to join. She's gonna watch. I love seeing the Cherry Blossom festivals in Japan where they actually go out and give weather forecasts sort of like ideas on what the conditions of the cherry blossoms are so that the best time to go out and see them would be uh you know what time of day because they come and go so fast it's their national flower i believe in japan and so there's this huge celebration that goes on 
around springtime to see the cherry blossoms. All right, now that we've got these big bot bunny ears, the last piece, last few pieces are the details. So I like to bake a little line, extra line there to show this rabbit's belly. And then I put little paw mark lines. I'm just going to put a, a tiny belly. I'm going to put a tiny, I love your tiny belly. There's a good idea. Sophia used a an oval to show the tiny belly. You could do that. I draw a big oval on the bottom of each foot to show the foot pads of the bunny. I put, I do that, I do that and I add tiny little circles. I think that's exactly what I'm doing here too. Yeah. I'm adding some tiny little circles with these. All right. So now that we've got our bunnies drawn, and they're going to overlap each other here. Hold on. I'm going to put this guy in just back here. And I'm going to make this guy a little smaller. And I might change my in between get my eraser. I'm going to do something here a little bit different. I'm going to change my canvas size to the opposite. I'm going to make it landscape mode. Bing. That's okay. And I'll bring my bunnies right up. So I've, I've turned my page around so I can have both my bunnies. This is where you guys can take some of the spring ideas we've been having right now and adding them to your picture. I'm going to do sort of like something like this. Gonna, so Sophia's going to put them side by side. So in the art world, we would call those diptychs, which sounds very weird, doesn't it? But it means just means two pictures side by side that work together. So if you put them on the wall together, then they would be whoop, like uh, one big picture. Like those so one, you can um, usually hear them as triptychs, which are three pictures, but two of them is, is a diptych. Yeah. Which sounds really weird. Hello Man, again. Just saying hello. So, I've seen cherry blossoms and I see robins in the discuss the discussion here in the chat. So maybe I'm going to put some cherry blossoms and a robin in this picture. You guys can do that too if you want. But this is your picture. This is your... You can take it now any direction that you want to do. This is your spring picture. So I would think of cherry blossoms, I would do these really pretty petals shapes if I'm doing cherry blossoms. And I probably put a tree branch. Maybe it's a tree that the bunnies are looking up to. That would be a pretty small tree. That's okay though. Maybe it's just a baby tree. Maybe it's maybe it is a baby. This is maybe a baby cherry blossom tree. Who knows? Are you guys starting to go back to school, some of you, from home? Sophia was doing a classroom session this morning with her teacher, and some got to see some of her friends online, so that was really nice. But after not doing as much schoolwork at home, it's been a little hard to adapt, hasn't it? At least we found that, especially when mom or dad or the parents in your house have to work at the same time and everybody's Hello. trying to do stuff. <laughs> Somebody says, hi, Bamboo. Yeah, Bamboo is pretty happy to have friends saying hello. Yeah. So when I do cherry blossoms or think of leaves or trees, I kind of make random cloud-like bumps because the cherry blossoms look like pink clouds when they hit the tree or when they blossom on the tree. I'm making sort of cherry blossom leaves falling on the bunnies and the little robin. Yeah, I didn't quite plan this out very well, did I, thinking of cherry blossom trees. And it's okay to go off the page with some of your 
We still have half an hour. We still have half an hour. Well, this is why we're going to build up our picture and everyone can build and color their picture along with us. They can add some of the stuff that we're adding. I think when I think of spring, I think of thinking of the celebration of Holi and um, uh, another one. Um, what's the water festival? It was kind of a cool one where everybody shoots water at a water gun to wash everything away, to spring clean the place. I think it's Songkran um, in Thailand. So to celebrate their new year, they use water and wash everything down. And they have water fights in the street. That's kind of cool. So water and spring, rain. Um, I think of flowers coming out of that. So like little croci. Maybe, maybe my maybe my bunny over here is eating a flower. Maybe the bunny's eating a flower. Maybe you have a bunch of flowers. Maybe these are actual special uh, essential service bunnies that it might be coming this weekend. What would they be bringing? Easter eggs. Maybe you have Easter eggs. Maybe there would be a rainbow. I think I'm going to put all these bunnies. This bunny kind of is half looking out. So I'm going to use my eraser. Oops, this bunny is not even on the same page. Let's put them all on the same page together. Merged. There. Now I'm drawing on the same page just like you guys. Da -da 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 -da. I want this bunny to be looking up at the tree and enjoying the tree too. So I'm going to change his eyes around so the little reflective parts of his eyes kind of act a bit like pupils too. And that's sort of a little trick I use when I'm doing uh, story books. I like it. You like it? Bamboo likes her picture. I like everybody's picture, even yeah. if I can't hey, see them. Hey guys, what did I forget on this bunny? On this, this bunny right here. What did I forget on him? <laughs> I see what you forgot. What does a bunny normally have? Hmm. 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 I'll see if anybody knows what I might have forgotten on I'm, this bunny. I know what it is. I'm gonna draw it. You're gonna draw one on. See if you guys can see where. I was, I'm drawing. You guys are getting so good at drawing that we have all of the drawings done. We've done two drawings today. I want to draw Robin. Hmm. I was going to draw it in a tree, but I'm, I'm not. doing my Robin. My Robin's on the ground playing with some of the leaves. Oh, well, okay. This is a pretty. Well, let me follow my own rules. I was going to say I didn't really like my tree, but there are no mistakes. There's just happy Afton or beautiful bobos. Oopsies. Oopsies. That's right, everybody. I forgot a tail. <laughs> so because I did a little fluffy tail, a little furry tail on this one, I'm going to do a little fluffy tail on this guy. I'm doing a furry tail because I did a It looks like it's kind of growing on his foot because I didn't really give his back the right, right thing. And now you can add any other detail you want to your rabbit. I'm going to make this rabbit have... I even wrote something on the bottom of my page there. Have a happy, hoppy Easter. Have a happy, hoppy Easter. Oh my gosh. And I think in my other one I did little furry cheeks. I'm going to make his cheeks a little fluffy. So this is if I'm doing a story for somebody. <laughs> oh, she just put her nose up to the camera. Say Bamboo hi. just gave you a nose boop, everybody. It's what she does. She does it another one. There she goes. She's doing a nose boop. She's not doing it again. Okay. She's very happy. Boop. Boop. No. <laughs> That's what she does. She's very happy. She's very So if you're going to make a background with this, I'm going to get this robin in here somehow. I think I might have to take Sophia's idea and put a robin 
maybe land it on this guy's head. <gasps> that would be amazing. Yeah. I think I'm going to put the robin on this guy's head. What do you think? I'm putting that robin on his head. I did forget the tail and the whiskers. What I did with the whiskers on this guy is I just did little freckles to, him to sort of say the whiskers on him. That's one way you can sort of show whiskers without showing the whiskers. Yeah, that's what I did on Fluffy as well. So I'm showing in both of them they will have unique ways of showing their tail or their whiskers. This guy is going to be a little bit confused because I'm going to put that Robin who thinks maybe, maybe, just maybe, that this funky hair that he's got going on his head is its nest. So how would I do a Robin? I would draw the body of the Robin. Usually I do a lot of this, my work. You guys, it's very unusual for me to do my work in a marker or a pen right away. I usually try and use my pencils and um, then I can erase and I can experiment and I can change shapes and everything else as I'm working. I always keep a sketchbook. I don't know if you guys can see this. A uh, sketchbook with me. When I have ideas, I jot them down. And sometimes I don't even do a drawing for my books until I've practiced it a couple times in my sketchbook. So this is kind of fun for me, drawing right in front of everybody and just being spontaneous. It's kind of cool. So Robin, I would do two shapes. I'd do sort of an egg shape for the body. This guy's going to be looking over his shoulder down towards the bird. So I did a half circle. And I'm going to have his beak coming down like this. So his head's going to connect to there. So this Robin. I love everybody's pictures. Oh, Bamboo, that's such a nice thing to say. <laughs> you haven't even seen everybody's pictures and she's no. already loving them. Oh, everybody that she can see out there. Is she looking out there and looking at all the pictures? Yeah. So I'm going to put this Robin who has a nice <laughs> red breast right there. Time. I should do flowers next time. We are adding Easter eggs to our drawings. Oh, and eyes, and eyes is London says hi to Bamboo. Aww. Sophia's reading the comments. Hello, and London. Up. Hello, London. <laughs> so that would be my Robin. I'm gonna color, add some color to this Robin sitting on this guy's head. Maybe the Robin's stretching a wing out. I'm going to put some flowers here in the grass. I'm going to put my favorite flower. Hold on. My favorite flower. I haven't seen any yet, but hopefully they're going to be popping up soon. It is a tulip. Yeah, we we had, uh, you want to hear a funny story about our tulips? We, we had tulips from my grandpa. And we put them in our garage. And... We come in a few weeks later and we see they're already starting to grow in our garage, in the bag. <laughs> yeah, we put some of them in the ground, uh, but we couldn't plant all of the tulips in the ground. We got some celebration uh, tulips for the 75th anniversary of the app. Nope, it's not that. Day celebration. Home liberation, oh my gosh. Sorry, Grandpa Dave. Celebration flower. The beautiful flower is going to be red and white like a Canada flag. We got them from Grandpa because my daddy, so my dad, gave them to us and we planted them in the fall. But we left the bag in the garage that had one poor little bulb left all by itself. And it started to grow in the bag. So we might have to find a little place for it to go. So I'm adding some grass for these guys. And this robin is hanging out in this guy's head. If we, but if we let it grow enough, then the squirrels won't go in and get it. It's they true. They get into the garden. And get so he is quite worried that the squirrels are going to eat the, the guy little tulip. Maybe that's what got into our garage the other day. Maybe it smelt the tulip and went into the garage. We had a squirrel in our garage the other day. Yeah. It was... Uh, it knocked something off of the top shelf and we heard a big bang because we went out to do beautiful chalk drawings uh, for people going past our house and leaving messages for them. There is a big giant ear on the camera. 
That's okay. <laughs> She's getting right into her painting, running into her coloring. So we've got this guy. Um, let me think. I'm going to have to add some color here, guys, now that I've drawn this big old sketch. Um, maybe I'll have a few little... Well, I don't want to make it look like the Easter Bunny. Oh, here. Left a tail? eggs. Yeah, we got... We Minecraft. Have this, this is my tail right here. Well, maybe you'll see. So I've got a little Easter egg in here with stripes. This guy's holding. Now I'm going to start coloring it. Minecraft. The so what kind of colors do you think I should use here? I think I'm going to give my little Robin a Okay. Fluffy. My first rabbit is pinky, like warmer colors. I'm and, gonna uh, use some chalks. And my second rabbit, yeah. my and There's my other rabbit. Picture. My other rabbit here. He's a uh, he's more of a cooler color rabbit. And I just realized I've been coloring this whole time with my page tilted towards the camera. Well, now everybody can sort of see the rabbit. Yeah. I'm gonna start with a little robin who is brown and has a little Both my bunnies are kind of looking at the rock. So what has everybody drawn so far? I've seen we see some people have added some Easter egg drawings. How about some of you added some of those flowers? Have you tried some beautiful uh, blossoms? Are you making your picture? for maybe somebody in your house, maybe a special gift for the weekend, or you love it so much you want to put it up in your room. That's what happens to me sometimes. When I finish a book for somebody, like pictures for a book, or I do a painting for somebody, I come sometimes with it very sad because I have to give it away. It's very sad. But then I get over it. I realize that I'm making it for that person and it's going to make them happy, and they're going to enjoy it. So like, uh, she went to a, uh, she had a, she went to a, one of her, like, shows with, uh, uh, with one of the paintings I really wanted. Like, I, I would, she said, you could have, you can have it if it doesn't sell at this, at this is this, show. Is, is this, is this the Triceratops? Yes. Is this the trach? She loved this baby triceratops. And then yeah. she said, if it doesn't, my mom said here, she said, if this doesn't sell at this, at this show, you can have it. And it's sold. And that was really sad. Yeah. Uh, I think actually one of our regular uh, viewers here, someone who comes and does paintings with us or drawings with us regularly on the week has that particular painting in their room. So... And, from what I've heard, enjoy it immensely. So, I hope that you're still enjoying the baby trike, the little baby triceratops. He was sort of sitting at the camera, kind of going, he was very cute. That's why I liked him. But that happens. I can fall in love with a drawing that I've done, and it makes it really hard to want to give it away, but sometimes, you know what, it feels so good to see somebody so happy with the work that you've done with your art, and the happiness that it brings them to get to receive it makes it even a bigger feeling on the inside. So that's part of why I do what I do. I'm hiding. I like Easter making eggs people happy. And I put my... <laughs> I put it in the camera, yeah. But I'm gonna That's okay, choose. you're really into your painting. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> choose I'm gonna choose a few colors doing? that go with each picture. And I'm gonna hide five Easter eggs in my pictures. Oh that's a good idea. I've decided I'm gonna have some of these petals falling and kind of in the ground without lines because I'm improvising. Has anybody added a baby bunny? Fluffy is my baby bunny. Baby bun Fluffy is your baby bunny. This guy could be my baby bunny. I've just made them both the same size. 
have you added chicks? Little baby yellow chicks. I think maybe th this Robin has landed on this strange bunny's head because in my story of my picture, he has a turquoise egg that looks a little bit like a robin egg. So this robin is wondering, hey, what you doing with my egg? That's what I think my story is going to be. I like to think of ideas and story ideas of how it all comes together. And then that helps me choose colors. That helps me choose other elements that I want to add. It's so much fun to just sort of think about what's popping up in your head and try to put it right down on paper. I can't keep up. <laughs> there we go. This little dude's tail is red. His tail oh, we got a little tail, color. red tail. Sophia's got a red tail. Why don't you show off what you're doing so far, Sophia? So what I'm doing is now I'm hiding my final Easter egg in my picture. Oh, you're hiding. Oh, that's right. But I'm going to have three with my blue bunny, two with Fluffy. I'm going to make this a yellow tulip. And I just, I just remembered I, had, I wanted to color my belly. It's maybe something we can talk about um, a little bit is choosing certain colors. And why sometimes if you pick just red, yellow, green, and blue, and just the regular colors, sometimes it doesn't, they don't look very good together. Even though they look really good together in a rainbow. I don't know if that's something that you guys want to discuss or talk about, or if that's maybe just too much. I don't know. That could be a whole other art lesson. Color theory. Even I don't get color theory very well sometimes. I would like to do. I didn't want to overdo my, some of my things. I think I would put some grass at the top. It's funny, sitting in the grass. So you've hidden Easter eggs in yours. Three over here, two over here. So how many Easter eggs have you put in? Five altogether? Three yeah. plus two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be five. For anything else, I should be adding to my painting, guys. My drawing. Besides the nice sky that's going to go in here in a second. And that turquoise egg that I imagined in my own story of this bunny who's sitting in the grass. Boom. It's funny, before uh, March came along and we were all trying to find some fun things to do with our friends and draw and color, I used to be on here doing um, whatever painting I was working on for the day, doing it live, but I'm having so much more fun. I'm just making, I'm making this a super big paintbrush so I can fill in the background really fast. But I would draw and I would sort of talk about some of the things I was drawing this is so much more fun. You guys are helping me pick some ideas and I can help you guys draw and you can ask your questions. I'm having a great time. Are you guys having a good time? I saw a lot of hearts going on. That's a good sign. Got nine more minutes. Nine more minutes? You know what's important for us to discuss right now before we're out of time? What? What we're going to do next week. Hmm. I think I got do flowers next time. Yeah, that's what I saw. Do flowers next time. Okay. 
your suggestion of flowers. I had someone ask me last, not last week um, if we could do giraffes. And somebody wanted to do an ender dragon. We sort of covered Minecraft last week. We might come back to that. Like last week we did uh, non-hostile mobs. Maybe maybe one time we'll do we do hostile mobs. hostile mobs like bugs and players. flowers. Do you have a particularly favorite bug? I do, but I'm not going to influence anybody. I have a favorite bug that I love to draw, and I've actually drawn fairies based off of that bug. Bugs are amazing. I love bugs. We're also huge fans of, besides of Minecraft, we love Pokemon. Oh. I think Bamboo's doing the super boop right now. You're doing the super boop. It's going to make some big noises on everybody's screen. <laughs> Good one, <laughs> Bamboo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I didn't know that was going on. <laughs> she gave you hugs from above She's the She's trying to give hugs. The panda's trying to give hugs. I'm sure Sophia would love to do pandas if she could have everybody do a panda. I, I actually probably would come up with... I've already come up with a few ideas for panda. If, um, I have even done a Google slide with how to draw some stuff with different shapes in Google slides and one of those things is a panda that was actually probably my trickiest one to do because i ended up messing up grouping it and i had to restart by deleting a whole bunch of my shapes and getting new ones mm. <sighs> oh my gosh to there that's my picture that is your picture Fluffy and everybody. What should I name this guy? Any suggestions for names for my blue bunny? Sophia's looking for suggestions for her blue bunny's name. Fluffy is the one that has the hair and is pink, but uh, she's looking for names for her blue bunny. Oh, I don't think I want to do that color. I think I'm going to do a pink, a purple bunny. It's me. I love purple. Got six minutes left. My goodness. And you're done? I'm done, my picture. Well, maybe you can show everybody where you hid the Easter egg. I'm actually going to show everybody my picture and see how many of you guys can find. I'll give you about a minute now. Zipper. Zipper, Zipper has been recommended. Hmm, mm, I think that kind of suits them. What do you think? Yeah. I'll wait for more suggestions if anybody has more. I, th I like Zipper. I do too. And if there are more, you can name my bunnies too. <laughs> I don't have any names for my bunnies. I just know that. I've got one goofball here, he's purple, and one, I don't know what the other guy is going to be. Purple's my favorite color. Learning something new about me. Uh, maybe that not, because you probably have guessed that. Okay. In we do have a fluffy. The pink one is fluffy. So fluffy is the pink one. Jack. And I guess maybe who uh, uh. recommended Jack? Was that Jack? Oh, I still have pink. I'm going to put yellow in his ear. And yellow feet. Because yellow and purple go very, very well together as complementary colors. They are on opposite ends of the color wheel. Which makes each other stand out very, very well. Fluffy tail. She can tell Sophia liked the recommendation of Jack. Yeah. 
I'm thinking uh, maybe you know <laughs> Jack and Jack as well. Oh, that gave me a really good a name. Jackson. Jackson. Well then, if you're using Jackson for your bunny, then I'm using Zipper for my purple dude because I think that really suits him. Well, I'm gonna make the other bunny. It's a very creative way of spelling it. Hmm. J A X Z O N. That is very interesting. Jackson. I don't know what I'm gonna make my other bunny. Maybe my other bunny is gonna be the same color as the Sakura, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. leaves mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. cherry blossom, the Sakura mm -hmm. tree. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. funny, pink and purple, because mm -hmm. pastel colors tend to be a very Eastery thing. Okay, what is going <laughs> on? Bamboos. Bamboo is so just going camera. crazy. This is what happens when Sophia gets done before me. I'm still working. All right, everyone. Did anybody have anybody think they found some of these drugs? We've got two minutes left. Look at this. I've got a time clock watcher. We can go a little longer if you want. Okay. We can go a little longer. Maybe about 105, 110. 110. Why do I say 110? <laughs> If everyone's having a good time, we can go a little bit longer to show stuff up. How is everybody doing on their pictures? Are you almost done? Can we draw zebras? Yes, we can. Maybe what Sakura. we should do... Sakura is a very good name because that is, uh, that is uh, definitely related to uh, Cherry Blossom. All right. Does anybody think they found? Sneaky. Anybody think they found my shreds? Just can move it closer if you need. Yeah. Zebras or zebras? Yeah. I think we could probably do. That means we could have our other friend, uh, E, another E, on here. Really wanted to do giraffes, so maybe we could do zebras or zebras and giraffes. We had a little app um, for bubble guppies, but it was uh, the British version for some reason of the bubble guppies. So everybody had the British accents. It was quite lovely. And they always called the zebra, because we're always making it harsh sounding, zebras. So that's why I keep calling them zebras, because it's for whatever reason stuck in my brain. All right. All right. Anybody else have a guess right. for... Everything, anything here? I want, to get, want people to my answer sheds. it. That's not what I want to do. I'm trying to pick up another crayon. This is the only problem I have with my Photoshop. I want to pick up crayons and color. All right. Well, I've just basically filled in the colors here. All right. So two now, we're going to go a bit longer. It's two now. I think I'm pretty much done. Is everybody else done their paintings? I can't wait to see what your pictures are going to be like. And you can share them in the usual spots. Either send me a message or um, you can uh, send me a message on Sam I Art. You can post Get it some in more the comments, comments coming here. In. Get some more Get comments. Get some more comments. Sophia's keeping me. Toby. Do you oh know, goodness. Toby is the name I would call a puppy dog if I had a puppy dog. I would actually call it Tobias and Toby for short. I love Toby. Yeah, in my creative Minecraft world, her dog in my in her house is named Tobias. Tobias. Toby. Toby. And um, was a, in her in the in my uncle's survival realm, uh, she had a little dog, her first ever dog. She called she got she called him Tobias. Toby, and and, you, and she, then she finally got a name tag, named him Toby, and they were out on a walk together at night in the village, and um, he saw a zombie in the water, because dogs love going after zombies, and he <laughs> jumped into the water, too. Yeah, he jumped into <laughs> the water and drowned. 
And that's how I lost my first dog in Minecraft. Sad. True. Sure. Got some more comments. Also, comments coming in. Well, that's good. <laughs> if everybody's having a good time, Sonic, Sonic the, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. That's what I just drew. A Sonic the Hedgehog for somebody as a, as a gift. Well, as a, as a commission for somebody. So, I know how to draw Sonic. I don't know if I could draw Sonic in, like, quick how-to videos, but I would learn for you guys. I would learn. Alright. All right. Here are where my Easter eggs are. Sophia's going to show the Easter eggs, and then I'll one finish down telling here. you how to send your pictures in. There's one down here. One up on Jackson's head. One under the robin. One right under Fluffy's chin. And one between Fluffy's ears. Got another comment. So, right at the moment, I am um, adding shadows to my picture as we're all talking. Because that's sort of another step that I do in my own process. I just find a color that's a little darker. Uh, shadows can be. Let's go to about 205 then. Yeah, we'll go to 205. This is this is a uh, getting stressful for you, is it? Watching the clock. No. No. That's just true. that uh, I'm finished. You're finished. Maybe everybody else is finished, and you're ah. just sort of sitting around watching me just add color. <laughs> that might not be as much fun. That's quite all right if it's not. <laughs> so. We'll start to wrap it up here. If you want to share your photos with me or of your pictures, you can do so on Samian Art um, in the messages, or you can leave them in the comments on this video later, um, or after I post up the how-to, you can put them in there too, uh, the how-to uh, pages that you can download later. Um, if you do put them on your own page and you use the hashtag draw with Sam I, am, I will find them as long as your parents give you permission to put them as a public uh, post. So everybody, everybody in the world can see it. Maybe not what you want to do either. So there's a few ways that you can do that. Probably the best way is to send it by a message through Sam I, am Art. Hi, it's the two of us. Have a safe and happy Easter Today weekend. Oh my gosh, I forgot the panda. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for joining us from the drawing. You're getting right up my nose. This is kind of scary. Love you all. See you next week. Bye. Bye.